All right, well, as we take a look here, you can see keeping a close eye, of course, on the tropics. As we take a look right now, you'll see here that uh, really quiet weather locally in the Gulf of Mexico, but that could quickly change as we head into next week. Take a look right now, see what's going on in the tropics. And you'll notice we, of course, are watching our system there in the Caribbean. That is 97L. We are also watching tropical depression 13 in the middle of the Atlantic and another wave coming off of Africa that does have a medium chance to develop as well, too. So do be prepared for a little active weather. Of course, the peak of really the ups swing of the hurricane season begins on the 20th of August, so that's today, right? So we continue to see some pretty active weather all the way to about September 10th. Now you'll notice here again, this is our invest continuing to work its way, trying to get a little better organized there south of Kingston, Jamaica, but uh, definitely something we'll be keeping an eye on too. And behind that, of course, we're watching tropical depression 13. It's still not very organized yet either. And then behind that is our next wave coming off the coast of Africa. So all of these again still have the chance to develop even more than what they have so far. You can see a lot of deep tropical moisture coming from 13 as well as 97, and you can see as we get into Sunday, that deeper moisture there tied in with 13, kind of work its way through the Bahamas here in Cuba. Also 97 here, potentially a tropical depression will bring some deep tropical moisture to the Gulf of Mexico as we head into next week and into next, say, Tuesday. And a lot of deep tropical moisture here from both systems. Whether or not this is an actual system and survives the track here, a lot of uncertainty still exists with that. Winds right now at 35, moving west-northwest at 21 miles per hour as it sits about 900 miles east of the northern Leeward Islands there. And uh, you can see it's going to be tracking just north of there, possibly over Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, Cuba, the Bahamas, and maybe there you can see on into parts of Florida and into the eastern Gulf of Mexico as we head into Tuesday morning of next week. Now, likely it could be a strong tropical storm, but we do need to keep an eye and see what this may or may not end up doing as it gets its way in this location. So we'll keep an eye on this one here, but a lot of uncertainty exists once it gets over toward the Bahamas there in the islands. It's going to battle potentially some land if it moves over those islands, wind shear and dry air too. And some of the models are hinting at that it may just kind of totally dissipate the system. Other models are trying to keep it together, saying it'll be strong enough. So we'll have to really wait till the weekend to see what this is going to do. You can see by Monday morning, it's there just over the Bahamas. So uh, we do have plenty of time to watch this one. For example, European isn't showing anything with this one, but some rain. But the GFS is showing a potential tropical system over Louisiana for next Wednesday morning. Uh, again, a lot of time between now and then. Definitely something worth watching. Nothing to worry about and freak out about yet, but definitely watch to see it is that time of year we can get those systems. As for Invest 97, you can see it does have an 80% chance for development. Potentially once it gets toward the Yucatan, maybe some development expected there and then into the western part of the Gulf of Mexico and it could be a Texas system for those areas. So definitely watching that. And